Namaste student. Today we are going to do a problem related to AA criteria and it is higher order thinking scale question also. Okay, so here we have the question. Two poles of a height A meter and B meter are P meter apart. That means we have two poles. So let's take two poles. This is one pole and this is another pole. Now it is saying that one is a meter. Okay, let's take this one as your a meter. Okay, and this one is your b meter. And it's saying that they are p meter apart to each other. So here we have the distance between them that is p meter. Okay, now what they are saying. Prove that the height of the point of the intersection of the line joining the top of each pole to the foot of the opposite pole. That means from here this is the top and this is the top respective pole stop. So if we we'll join from the top to the foot, join them. Here we have. We join it here we are getting one this is your second one okay so give a name a b c d e and take the height this is the height f c what they're saying height of the point of the intersection this is your intersection of the line joining the top of each pole so this one ef they are asking this the height of the intersection okay from the foot you can see these are the foot what they are asking you have to prove that ef equals to ab by a plus b meter we need to prove this one okay so let's start how are you going to start so in this case your target to show that this one cfe and CBA similar first case from there we'll get one condition second one BFE and BCD similar and from there we'll get another condition and then we'll add them okay and get our result let's see so let assume let AB and CD be two poles respectively okay okay mm, a b and two pole of height a meter and b meter respectively okay And then what we're going to do? Yes. And distance between them be BC. That is BC equals to P meter okay let ef equals to h meter and cf equals to x meter okay then then what then if cf is your x then this will be what bf will be your p minus x so here we have b f equals to p minus x meter okay now so let's proceed in triangle b f e and triangle b c d another one will proceed here in triangle 
okay let's complete this one okay first so you can see that angle angle f b e f b e equals to angle c b d have you seen this one is common c b d common then this one is the 90 degree and this is also 90 degree okay let's proceed angle b f e equals to angle b c d each 90 degree therefore you can say that triangle b f e similar to triangle b c d okay by a a criteria then by definition we can say that b f by b c equals to f e by what c d and then b e by b d so b e by b d is not our target so we're not going to write so now b f means what here we have that we have taken this one as p minus x we can write here p minus x okay by bc bc is what p equals to ef this is your ef we have taken as h we will write here h by cd cd is your b okay this is your number one let's proceed for second one in triangle c f e c f e and triangle c b a c b a this one this one is common to both c c f e c b a this angle is common so how are we going to write f c e or e c f we'll take this one angle f c e then according to this also we have to take angle b c a common okay next uh, this is your 90 degree c f e is your 90 degree and c b a is a 90 that means their height height of the pole and they stand perpendicular to the ground that's why each is 90 degree okay so your angle c f e equals to angle c b a each 90 degree therefore we can say that triangle c f e is similar to triangle c b a by a a criteria therefore this imply what we are getting c f by c b equals to f e by b a c f means what c f we have taken as x right here x by c b b c or c b that means p meter you're going to write p e f e f is your h so we'll take here h by a b a b is your a so a. this is your number two we're going to add these two okay so let's add so adding one and two so here we have h by so let me see once again h by b plus h by a now you add them so you can see the denominator remains same so p minus x plus x and if we'll take common h you are getting 1 by b plus 1 by a so x x cancel each other and p b cancel each other too. we are getting 1 and this will give you 
cross multiply a plus b by a b this will give you what see now you take this a b this side then is cross multiply if you do you can see that a b by a plus b equals to h and this is our target so we have got proved okay thank you